On behalf of uh, KCB Board of Directors, I welcome you all to today's briefing session when we shall share with you details of our financial performance for the, uh, for the past uh, six months. I would like to thank you, each one of you for coming and uh, availing your time. I know you are all very busy people, but for your coming here, we want to thank you all. We also want to say that uh, there's no free lunch, and therefore that will compensate the fact that you have spent time to come here. Uh, allow me then to first introduce my, my colleagues, the directors. I know they are eating, but uh, I want to start by just sweeping across so that they, I'm not asked how did you choose me and not the other one to be last. I want to introduce my, my colleagues, uh, starting from this side. As my hand goes, just stand, then I notice where you are. <laughs> I, I am on a gra uh, Grace. This is a Grace Akumu. She is a, a member of the uh, foundation. Uh, thank you very much. Professor Kimuyu is a member of the group board. He's also the chairman of, um, maybe you stay standing until I finish. Uh, <laughs> he's also the chairman of our business in Rwanda. Thank you, Prof. Prof. Sige is a, a member of the board. And uh, who else, uh, what else do you do in, uh, with us? He's, he's, a local, he's a local director, meaning he doesn't go outside. <laughs> Charity is our newest uh, lady. Uh, she sits on the South Sudan board, and she's also head of uh, the chairman of HR. Audit. Oh, audit. audit. Uh, Joe, Joe has many hats. He's a member of the board, group board. He's also the chairman of uh, the newest um, subsidiary, uh, that is uh, Burundi. And he's also a uh, the chairman of uh, TC, Transformational Committee. Joshua? Uh, we know we know each other by first name. I, I think Joshua Muiru, but uh, we call him Joshua. He's a, a member of uh, is Uganda now. Rwanda. Is you even Rwanda? Rwanda. Uh, he's uh, he's a joint professor. He's in Rwanda, and um, thank you very much. My hand is going like this. Uh, I'm on this table now. Uh, allow me to to start properly. And to start properly, I start with Catherine Kola. You know, these are members of uh, the hard group of gender activists. And Catherine Kola is a, is a member of the, uh, the, the group, and she also chairs the uh, um, credit committee. So if you want loans and pay, you, I think you need to, 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 to see. I want to go right. Um, Ngenyi, Ngenyi is uh, the HR chairman, and he also sits in the, in, the, uh, in the group board. He also sits in Tanzania. Maybe wave. Thank you. Adil Hawanja is, a, uh, is a new, one of the newest members of the board. He also sits in the uh, Tanzania board. KD, are you a member of the board? I always see him, and I've seen him for all the years I've been in... Uh, in the board, so by, by the fact that he sits there, I, I want to introduce him as uh, a person who sits in the board. I, I don't know whether he's a board member or not, but he's, a, he's our council, he's our legal uh, officer, the Cambridge secretary, and he's also secretary to the, to the board. Uh, Joshua, Joshua Oigara, and he's also Nyamoya, he's a CFO, he looked at all our figures, and uh, he's a member of the, he's the executive director actually of, uh, of the board. Thank you, Joshua. Uh, General, uh, this is General Kibwana. He's also Raymond. Uh, he sits in the board. And he's also a chairman of the strategy committee. Thank you, General. Matt Noduo does he need introduction? He does. I thought you were all familiar with him. Martin Oduro Tieno, Dr. Martin Oduro Tieno does not need an introduction and I will do it. Uh, is there anybody on that side? Uh, thank you. Uh, these, are, these are the members then of, uh, of the board, including Martin, whom I have not introduced. 
Um, essentially, today we are unveiling our trading results. But before I do that, I need to take you through some of the information that I thought was relevant for this occasion and for your use. use. Um, I wanted just to tell you, uh, in Kenya, for it, we are in uh, five countries. I will be taking you through each country. Um, in Kenya, uh, I, I believe you can read that. Uh, Kenya is the oldest uh, 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 subsidiary is the term we want to use. Uh, there are how many? Now let me read my uh, from here. I told someone to, to give me a PC and he, he said he didn't have one, but that I can discuss later. <laughs> uh, KCB Kenya. There are 170 branches. There are either 864 ATMs, and we have about uh, 3,700 staff. The next uh, subsidiary is uh, Tanzania, where Ngeni and Adil sit. Have you flagged it? It's supposed to be flagged when I mentioned the country. But in the absence of uh, good coordination, I, w I want to tell you that in Tanzania, there are 11 branches. There are 12 ATMs, and we have 252 staff. The next one is Uganda. Maybe when I mention Uganda, the, the MD is also here. Uh, could the MD of Uganda stand, please? That's the MD of Uganda, and uh, he has uh, 14 branches. Is that right? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, and you have uh, 16 ATMs. And uh, you have 303 staff. All these are East African staff, isn't it? Yes, they're all East African. Thank you very much. Uh, the next one is uh, South Sudan. That's uh, Kemavi, Joseph. Um, I used to sit in South Sudan, so I know them off head. You have 19 branches, so have you added a few more? You are on ID branches. You have um, 22 ATMs. Thank you. And you have 322 staff. They are a mixture of Kenyans, South Sudan, Tanzanians, and Ugandans. And Rwandese. Thank you. And Burundi as well. Uh, the last, the other one is uh, Rwanda. The chairman is here. Professor Kimuyu is the chairman. And um, Rwanda, there are 11 branches. Um, Thoroitich, wave to these people so that they can know who you are. You're a bit short. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Thoroitich. Uh, you have 11 branches. Uh, you have 14 ATMs. And uh, you have 325 staff. So, and all these are East African. Thank you very much. Uh, now, the last one, Burundi. Maybe the chairman can stand. Burundi, that's the chairman, Joe. Uh, you have only one branch, surprisingly. <laughs> we, we have told the CEO not to mention how much contribution he has made so far in the bottom line, because that could be a bit embarrassing. <laughs> but he has two ATMs, and also you have 27 staff. Uh, Gloria, Gloria is uh, the CEO. For those of you, for those of you who want bad trouble, Gloria is uh, the CEO there. Therefore, we are quite uh, sensitive to, to to gender. Then, with those few remarks, I want to unveil. I want to unveil. Um, the trading results, uh, and I want to be helped to unveil them. Maybe what I'll do is I'll ask Gloria, please come. I want to do abruptly. Uh, Gloria and uh, the CEO will unveil the results. The results are here. Uh, so as uh, maybe they need a training. Uh, 
I'm told you pull this side, wait, wait. And Martin, you pull this side. And then um, we, we, what do I do? Then after they are pulled and it is all open, mm. then you press here. And the screen will show the side. Why do you press on okay. <laughs> uh, May I request that uh, as you wait, let us have uh, Gloria, Gloria, the MD for Ayage subsidiary, whose results are not here, because as I've said, and Martin, uh, the, the CEO, our CEO, would you please do the necessary? Lady, ladies and gentlemen. Those are the results. And for the lawyers who are here, I'm told I need to announce the results myself. And I, the chairman of the group of KCB, I now want to announce that the results for the trading for the first six months is 8.5 billion Kenya shillings. My profit. Um, this was a purpose, but the details Martin would like to give to, to us. And after that, uh, Martin will take all the difficult questions. If for any reason there are any compliments, uh, you just, uh, we have to bear with me, I will take the compliments. <laughs> <laughs> but if uh, the difficult questions, Martin and his team, you will take. Thank you very much, and Karim. <laughs> Right, um, Chairman, thank you very much, and uh, distinguished uh, guests, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, good afternoon once again, and um, welcome again to this uh, results announcement. The results have been un unveiled by the Chairman. Profits are 48% to 8.5 billion from 5.7 billion in the same period in 2011. We are very excited about these results. Uh, we performed well over the last uh, six months. What I want to do is uh, just talk about the, very briefly, uh, an overview. And then I'll request my colleague Joshua, the CFO, to come and go into the detailed numbers uh, of uh, the last uh, six months. The last time we were here, we were talking about the full year results for 2011. Uh, over the last six months, we've seen a number of developments in the economy. The first part saw so, um, very high inflation in the economy. Uh, we saw some instability in the FX rates. Uh, we saw increase in interest rates uh, led by the CBR and then all the other interest rates went up. Um, we've also seen a slowdown in GDP growth in, uh, in the country. But what has happened over the last uh, month or so is that uh, we've now seen the reverse begin to happen. With decline in inflation rates uh, you know, to the low tens, we've seen recently uh, a return of stability in the foreign currency uh, rates, and we've also seen in the last one month the CBR coming down, uh, and as a result of that, we've seen that commercial banks have started uh, lowering their interest rates. In fact, it's instructive to say that uh, KCB was probably the first bank to lower interest rates because we did this 
brought down our base rate from 24% to 22% effective 1st of June uh, this year. The CBR followed about two months later, and so we believe that uh, we read the signs well uh, because we would like to remain very competitive uh, as a way of growing our business. Uh, we've seen the GDP growth forecasts uh, <coughs> Uh, lowered. We're now looking at something like between 3.5 and maybe 4.5. Uh, previously we were looking at 4.5 up to 6. So that is uh, something that is going to affect the way that uh, we run business in the second half uh, of the year. If you look at similar factors across the region, we've seen inflation generally increasing across the region. We've also seen a mix in performance of, of growth in GDP, a decline in some countries, and the growth in other countries where we operate. Um, FX rates generally have stabled, stabilized across the region. Uh, interest rates is a mix. In some countries, we see interest rates still going up, uh, whereas others have now uh, stabilized. And all these uh, impact the business that we do in the respective countries. On the products uh, side, um, we have recently rolled out a very exciting new product, uh, the KCB Mobi, which enables one to do several things in addition to the ability to make payments and make transfers of funds. Uh, it's not limited to any network, and it's not limited to what you can do with other banks. This is something that is really exciting for us and something that we will be communicating more and more as we go forward because this is a key innovative platform that we believe will deliver us business uh, going forward. We've also launched a diaspora product to um, help channel the monies held by East Africans working outside East Africa back to the region for investment, uh, for savings, um, and so on. So, Again, uh, true excitement for us around the launch of the Diaspora product. Uh, and finally, as a responsible corporate citizen, we are participating in a significant way in the Kenya House at the Olympics, which start tomorrow uh, in London. Again, to promote uh, our brand, to meet our investors um, uh, overseas, and also just to showcase the success that your bank has had over the last uh, uh, you know, over the past um, in driving investment into this area. I also want to mention that uh, on the question of interest rates which I've referred to, our base rate is, not, is down to 22% from June. Our mortgage rate is uh, down to 19% from 24% effective June. But on the mortgage side, we do have our advantage premium rate which is at 17.5% and therefore this is basically to say that we remain very competitive uh, as far as interest rates are concerned, acknowledging that they are still high but also acknowledging that they are beginning to come down and as the macroeconomic situation stabilizes more that we as KCB will uh, work to drive the interest rates down uh, further. The, uh, on the brands that we are driving, clearly we are continuing to uh, innovate around our channels with the, with the KCB um, Tani, with the KCB Mobi that I've talked about, with our other portfolio of products and services uh, that talk to the needs of the entire spectrum and segments of our business customers. And pulling all this together, this is what has enabled us to deliver the profit performance that uh, the chairman has unveiled today uh, of 8.5 billion from 5.5 billion uh, in uh, six months this year compared to six months last year. So quite exciting for us um, as, as a bank. And I'd like now to invite uh, Joshua, our chief financial officer, to take us through some of the details of the financial performance. Thank you. My height, I thought oh, I was quite, quite high. high. Martin's uh, height is uh, quite above mine. Thank, Thank you very much, Group Chairman Martin. 
my few slides to speak about. I think it's still long. It's much better now. Yeah, thank you. So I'll speak about a few slides on our financial results, and then we can take some questions after that. Just straight on, if you can see the slide on the income statement for the group, you know, we've seen the full year results on the first, on the first um, column. You got last year, the same time, you got this year, and then you got the variance of the delta. And if you look at the group results, KCB is a strong story for a number of years now. If you look at last year's performance uh, in terms of delivering on its commitments, has been something that the group has remained uh, to stand the test of time. Uh, total interest income is up 14.3 billion, which is 36% growth. Largely, strong momentum in the second half of last year. So we have loan growth, and you'll see that in a minute, in another slide. Uh, with FX income, foreign exchange, up 40% to 1.9 billion. And then fees and commissions up to 4.6 billion, which is 9%. So overall, total interest income, or operating income, up by 21 billion, uh, which is 21.9%. So part of that is strong growth in assets. And you can see that our balance sheet is up total assets by 29%. Total loans are up 15%, uh, and then you'll see that in the next slide. You're looking at our expenses, where we've been strongly coming through as a bank to improve our efficiency, really build on getting technology leveraging. And in these slides, you'll get them actually after this. I have got this slide on CD, uh, Banty, so you can pick a copy of this. Total expenses are up 16%, slightly below inflation. But you'll be interested to see around our cost income ratio, which I'll show you in the next slide because we're deliberately pushing that to become a benchmark, and our target this year is around about 50, 51, 52%. Uh, bad debts, uh, looking at the environment, the high interest rates, we take a more cautious view to increase a little bit our provisions in line with our guidelines, but again, push hard on our recoveries. So you'll see our recoveries from bad debts around about 732 million, compared to the last year of 469 billion. So overall, in terms of p and strong growth on top line, coming through from the results, which you saw last year, strong asset growth, interest income coming in, but also a strong containment on our costs in the first half. That's kind of the story around uh, our, our p and But I'll speak a little bit on the next slide. We've been as a group very strongly showing our results around the regional expansion. Our chairman mentioned earlier that we've been the first bank out there in the region. So we see the region contributing up to 600 million of profits in the first half. And this is a real engine for growth. Group profits are up for the subsidiaries almost 100%, where our Kenya business is up 46. This remains a core drive of our business as a re the region. You see more banks taking the same approach, but KCP as a brand and as a business has been a leader in this area for, for a number of years now. So the strength of our regional businesses coming through in our results, you can see the graph on my right. This is my favorite slide. We're looking at building efficiency, especially the graph on the right, uh, specifically on our cost to income ratio. So first half, when we spoke in the first quarter when we were here, we are 62% of our cost to income ratio. We're down now to 56%. And you see it coming from a high of 63% a year ago. Um, despite investing significantly high amounts of money, as Max mentioned, on technology products, our strategy on innovation is driven one on technology, which we call tech innovation, and another one is around service innovation, which we call value addition or value innovation. But that still, you can see the benefits of elements like mobile banking, agency banking on our results. And therefore, you should see that coming through as we continue our business this year, second half, next year, to us becoming world class. The balance sheet, I'll pick up just two slides or two elements. Overall, in terms of our total assets, uh, growing closer to 350 billion as at the end of June, 29% uh, growth. And you can see the expansion of our total deposits, 29%, uh, but then see also the growth of the loans by 15% in the first half of the year compared to last year. So th that momentum then shows the consistency of our business to grow over time um, this year and again in the second half. This is despite the difficulty we've had in the first year in terms of growth of our total lending in, in the market, both Kenya and the region. So that is really what is driving a little bit the growth we've seen earlier in the PNL. In terms of just looking at statistics, I think I'll mention that. Largely, we are now over 350 billion worth of total assets for the group, both in Kenya and also at the subsidiaries. 
My last slide was just talking about how do we look at as a business in terms of statutory ratios, our strength and our balance sheet, our ability to grow, support growth in our different sectors. KCB is a strong partner on funding different institutions in the energy sector, um, around sectors in, in, in airlines. Because of our large size of balance sheet, we're able to actually to, to support a lot of our businesses, join ourselves with other international lenders in terms of syndication. And this is one of the strongest parts of our, uh, of our bank. Now you'll see overall, all the ratios we are way ahead of the minimum requirements. I mean, as a bank, we are able to stay way ahead of the initial targets which have been sent by the regulator. And th those four slides are just showing you in terms of where we stand as a business, the opportunity we have, the potential to continue growing the momentum, both today and the future, not just in Kenya, but also across the regional businesses. I think those are my first few slides. I will ask Martin to join me back on the stage to speak a little bit about the second half and take some questions. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Right, so these, uh, <clears throat> so thank you, Joshua. Um, so Joshua has taken us very briefly through the, the analysis of the results, uh, which is great. Before I, I make a few uh, concluding remarks, let me just ask, uh, introduce to you by the team, uh, senior staff who have delivered these results uh, with the support of the board uh, that was introduced earlier by, uh, by our group chairman. So if I could ask the EXCO members to stand up so that uh, they can be introduced. Uh, because it's important for you to know the people who are uh, delivering the results so that when you, when you meet them, you can ask them some tough questions. That, uh, uh, so Joshua has just been here, our, our Chief Financial Officer. Uh, Katie Malakwen, our, our Company uh, Secretary. James again is Chief Business Officer for our businesses outside Kenya, the international businesses. And Ross Kinuthia is our chief risk officer, is ensuring that we are uh, maintaining a strong, compliant, and uh, control environment. Uh, Peter Kimondo in front here is uh, chief business officer for the Kenya business, so, so running the bulk of our business. And then Paul Tikani is our chief operating officer, uh, ensuring that all the support functions are, uh, are aligned. So that's the executive team. Thank you very much, colleagues. Uh, I'd also like to introduce the uh, the functional directors who manage each of the other functions. Uh, if you could, uh, uh, again, stand up so that I can just uh, do that quickly. Tom Kiai is uh, finance director. Uh, Francis Gituru is our IT director. Uh, Robert uh, Ochola is in charge of um, innovation strategy and new business. Roy Akala is director, uh, back office and customer service. Uh, Fred Mutiso is uh, audit uh, Chief Internal Auditor, uh, to make sure that uh, everything again is, uh, is, is, is proper. Uh, James Asiko is Director Logistics. Um, Angela Mwirigi is Director Marketing, so all the fancy communication that you are seeing uh, across our products and services, uh, courtesy uh, Angela. John Mark Wandolo, um, Corporate Director for Big Business. Um, Shalin Gudka, Shalin is our Treasurer. Uh, so the foreign exchange uh, earnings that we've seen here uh, grow, grew by about 46%. Uh, that's what Joshua said. Uh, and then Joram Kiari is Director of Mortgages. Uh, Milka Chebi is uh, uh, Senior Officer in the uh, Retail Banking uh, Division. Uh, so thank you very much. Uh, on this side is our international business uh, team leaders. I don't know why they're sitting on their own table. They must be discussing strategy for delivering big results in international business. But Albert Odongo, MD Uganda, um, John Kimanthi, MD South Sudan, Maurice Toroitich, MD uh, Rwanda, uh, Moez Mir, MD Tanzania, and Gloria Nyambok, MD uh, Burundi. Um, and Judith is looking after us here. See, she's standing, so I've got to int introduce her as well. So really, uh, just uh, to conclude uh, this discussion, just looking ahead, we believe that uh, we've got uh, a strong roadmap for, for growth in our business going, going forward. 
uh, we believe that uh, we can uh, deliver sustained uh, uh, good performance uh, in this business, uh, focusing very much around the transformation agenda that we've been driving over the last one and a half years, and uh, which is coming to a conclusion at the end of this year, but nevertheless, we are now embedding transformation as, as a way of life in our business to deliver efficiency, to deliver better customer service, and to deliver increased results for our business in terms of increased revenues, uh, reduction in costs, and as I've said, improved revenues. And so, um, as a bank, we uh, are uh, optimistic about the second half of this year uh, to supplement what we've done in the first half of the year. So thank you very much. I'd like to uh, uh, stop there and uh, to ask for uh, any comments, especially positive comments around our performance for the last six months. At this time of, uh, at the half year stage, we don't, uh, we don't talk dividends. We normally look at our dividends once a year. Therefore, uh, for those of you who are shareholders, what we are doing is building value for you in the first half and the second half so that we can then look at dividends at the end of the year. Anybody wants to say thank you today uh, you know, for being our customers, you know, our various stakeholders, and we look forward to continued interaction over the next six months and uh, when we announce our full year results uh, early next year. So thank you all very much. And I'd like to hand over to Judith or Katie uh, Malakwen to come and round up the session. As we said, the, the strong growth in our profit uh, result for the first six months is uh, to the numbers that we've uh, unveiled today, which is 8.5 billion uh, Kenya shillings, uh, which is a 48% uh, growth compared to the same period last year, is uh, underpinned by you know, good growth in the asset book. Um, our loans were up uh, 15%. Um, our other investments uh, were up uh, similarly, and uh, then we've seen a lot of efficiencies created on the cost side, uh, which grew by, by much lower numbers. Uh, and all these have uh, resulted in the results that we've, uh, that we've unveiled today. Uh, so what we see is that the, the various initiatives around transformation that we, we rolled out over the last 18 months uh, are beginning to deliver strong benefits now. Uh, when we look at the, the customer growth, when we look at the efficiencies around the cost management, uh, when we look at the, uh, the business growth itself in terms of the numbers uh, on, on the asset side, uh, the challenge obviously has been the, the high cost of, uh, yes. In the top lending period, what would you say kind of informed that price? The growth in loans is uh, really informed by the, our you know, range of, of products and, 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 and services on the asset side. Um, as you know, we are very strong on the, on the corporate lending side because of our large balance sheet, which is now just under 50 billion uh, shillings of capital that we have there. So that enables us to, to lend much more. So the corporate side uh, grew quite, uh, quite well. Uh, and again, that is informed by the fact that there's a number of big projects taking place in the country across all the sectors. You look at the energy projects, you look at the other infrastructure projects. Um, uh, as well as the consumer side and the mortgage side as well, actually. So, so, so that has informed the, uh, the growth on the, on the loan book. But we've also seen growth coming from our international businesses as well, uh, which are also, you know, coming of age now. Wow, those are quite uh, quite number. With regard to the second half, uh, 
of the year. Um, you know, all I can say is that we remain optimistic about about the second half of the year. I don't think I could give you any specific numbers on that. Uh, we believe that, uh, you know, uh, barring any unforeseen uh, circumstances, we should be able to carry on the momentum that we built over the last uh, last half of the year. On the uh, on the disclosures, there's already a very wide range of disclosures actually by uh, financial institutions. The interest rates are disclosed. Uh, the charges are disclosed in the media. Uh, there is a, a new proposal around prudential guidelines, uh, which is going to cover these additional disclosures, but we are waiting for the implementation of those through the, uh, the regulator, the, uh, the central bank. So, um, uh, and with, with regard to our customers, obviously you know that within our banking halls, we actually have a tariff which is displayed in each of our banks, banking halls, so people can actually see what charges, uh, what interest rates, for what products uh, and, and services. And your other question was around interest rates. Um, as I said earlier, the, you notice that uh, towards the end of last year, there was a big ramp up in interest rates, uh, and the CBR went down from single digits to 18%. Uh, base lending rates went up to the mid-20s. These have started to ease uh, and, and uh, to the low 20s now, um, which is still high. But we'd expect that if the macroeconomic environment remains stable, then we can see uh, interest rates also coming down uh, in the second half of this year. Great. Thank you all very much, and uh, we'll see you next time. You sure? Yes, that's right. Thank you. Thank you.